Kelly Ripa. Kelly. Hey. Hey, guys. Hey, Kelly. How are Listen, you? Listen, I'm watching the show. Rosie, I love you dearly. I have to strongly, strongly disagree. I think what you said is downright outrageous. Let me explain well, Kel, why. you know, I come from my perspective. You come from yours. I, know, I love no, you. No. You let talk on your this. show. Let I talk on this. mine. Say it. Wait, let me say this completely and truthfully. I am the only talk show host, I believe, who's ever interviewed him who didn't question his sexuality. We I didn't. didn't care. We didn't. Didn't, we didn't question it. it. Let we me didn't. just say that I didn't ever ask him a question about his sexuality. When Larry King did, when other talk show hosts did, we didn't. he didn't reach across and cover their mouths. He yeah. reached across and covered my mouth with his hand. I have three kids. Right. He's shaking hands with everybody in the audience. Absolutely. I mean, it's cold and flu season. It's the, that's what I meant. That's what I was and talking to about, too, about having kids. anything homophobic is outrageous, Rosie, and you know better. You should yeah, be more Yeah, why would you want somebody just putting their hands on you? You don't right. know where they've been. And you, well, you know, if you have kids, it's a different Kel, story. Kel, I respect I you. That, I have four kids myself. I understand cold and flu season. I'm right. just saying from where I sit as a gay person in the world, I have to tell you, that's how it came off to me. Well, you know, I don't I'm know if sorry it did to came off that way to you, but what I'm saying is I respect all people regardless. I would I, to me it never even occurred to me that that would be and I apologize to you if you felt that way. What I'm saying is regardless of whatever the sexual orientation is, it was outrageous, it was out of line, it was unprofessional and he wouldn't have done it to you because you of the respect what? there. Kelly, just as a woman, he wouldn't have done it to Regis. No In the workplace, men talk to women crazy than Amen. they do men. And the fact that he didn't do that to Regis, he would have never put his hands on Regis's mouth. And he did it to Kelly? Girl, I wanted to whoop his with you. That's right. <laughs> Listen, difference. I don't know. I mean, everybody gets to watch it and walk away. I don't know what he felt about it. I, you know, I haven't talked to him. I don't. I don't. Let's not... ask him. Call him tomorrow. No, I mean, <laughs> listen. I, I feel. Keep this thing going indefinitely. No, no, no. But my, you know, my whole thing I think is that you know, when you fill in it like that, you try to do the best you can. And here he is, this kid, shot the superstar. I mean, he's in a precarious position. I don't think he was trying to. Yes, but you know, the interesting thing is, I was not combative or attacking him in any way. No. I was very warm. I treat my co-host with respect. I treat everyone with equal dignity and respect, a dignity and respect that was not shown to me. And so I'm sorry. At the end of the day, basic manners, basic, decent human decency. The reality is he never said thank you. This was pleasant or anything. It was just sort of, I'm going to use this opportunity to steamroll over you because I've been bullied so much that now I'm going to bully you. Yeah, I have a question, Kelly. I hear you. I would like to ask you, are you going to invite him back? Um, you know, that's not up to me. That's not up to me. I don't produce the show. That's up to the producers. And I, you know, for me, listen, it is water under the bridge. I, I am not angry with Clay Aiken. I took issue. I said what I had to say. It is in the past. I forgive him. Even if he doesn't apologize, I forgive him. I don't care. But, Rosie, I just have to tell you, you know how I feel about you. You have to be more responsible. Not everything is homophobic. And, and I understand I your said point one of thing, view. I've been on this show for three months. I haven't said one thing is homophobic. No, no, no. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that you, you are implying that that action and what I said was homophobic. Um, and it's okay, outrageous. Kel, Kel, I get your point. I've been a supporter of you from day one. This is a show where you say your view. No, As no, a gay I'm woman, this was my view, and I prefaced it with, I love Kelly Ripa, and I think she's great at her job. So it wasn't a too. personal attack. I'm saying, no, as I the know. view of a gay woman, this is how it came off to me. Well, and I do that as a black person. I sit there and go, did he just call me a... Did he call me the N-word? Right. I, you know, and, you know, we, and, we, and, and I actually feel, I feel for the kid, to tell you the, self, the truth. I feel for the kid. Yeah. He's in a very difficult space but in his life. didn't he put himself there? Uh, you know, I don't know. I mean, right, didn't he audition for American Idol? I just think it's boundaries you gotta set. What's to stop, stop somebody from reaching over and grabbing you, you know, doing that? <laughs> yeah, well, you know. Well, thank you for calling, and you know, I don't think it's going to be War of the Queers, trust me. I really don't. It was just, you know, everyone's supposed to say their view, and there was mine, and, yeah. and there is Kelly's. Yeah. All right, so, love you guys. Take th care. Thanks Bye, for Kelly. calling Bye, in.